Uh, the boat's just cut out, so I just swam out to it to get it back. So I wonder what's going on. As you can see, it's all sealed up like it should be. And it's full of water. Why is it full of water? Hello, welcome back to the Blue Map. Okay, you would have seen the very small amount of footage that we have of the boat basically filling with water. Now, had I had been an expert, I probably would have been checking for these things, but obviously out of the box, brand new, I don't know how these boats work. Um, I've obviously made a mistake myself, but I didn't know to look for it, okay? What's happened was when the, um, when I unboxed it actually, the battery was loose. It was sat literally like that. I didn't give it a second thought. I had a look to make sure the battery hadn't damaged anything, um, but it didn't look like it had damaged anything because it's actually quite hard to spot. I've got all the paper in here because I've had to fill it with WD-40 basically because the boat was full with seawater. So, if you actually look inside, you can see that there's nothing obvious, really. I mean, you see the hole there. I don't know why I didn't register that. That is my fault. You know, there's a hole there. Didn't think twice about that. But at some point, I've come along the lines of, you know, everything's okay. So, yes, I should have noticed. No, I didn't notice. Yes, my fault. However, it's broken. How did it break? Why did it break? Now we know it's the battery. So, if you look down here all the way down here is actually there we go this is part of the cooling system now obviously this is supposed to be attached to that hole it pumps in the the seawater that then goes through the pump here pushes it through here which cools the bearings there and then it finally goes outside here um so i mean if i remove the silicone here because obviously it's not the silicone that snapped you'll see that it's actually a very, sorry, a very, very thin piece of plastic that um, obviously this attaches to. So that would then, make sure that you're in focus. Oh, where's it gone? That would then fit onto the hole there. I, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice, I'll be honest with you. Um, so... Positives are it goes really fast. You may have noticed that even though it was in slow motion. It goes very fast um, What I'm gonna have to do is I will take this end out and I will sand down the whole area Obviously clean it up nice and I'm gonna use some of my super duper glue Then I'm gonna use some epoxy around it and then I'm just once the the tube is back in position I'm then going to silicone all around it as well just to make sure that everything is as secure as it can be and then we'll go from there. Now, when we sort of returned from the sea, not, the uh, steering was working, but the throttle was not. So that's why I cater in WD-40, and now everything does at least seem to be working, which is very good. So if you bought this or a similar design, make sure that this hasn't snapped off for whatever reason. It really does need to be beefed up a little bit if it can snap off that easily anyway. But I will get that repair done. I will show you the repair afterwards and then we will get it back to the water. See you soon. FYI, if you want to get into your boat like me, it is one, two, three, four. Ooh, sorry about that. And the fifth one at the front and then the other four on the other side and that pops straight off. So the picture that you're about to see is of the Lego repair. Yes, I said Lego repair because I needed something plastic that I could drill to what I needed it to. So I'll show you that picture now. And then underneath here is the Lego repair. And then I've used this sort of this is silicone putty. So it's still flexible but it's, it actually dries a bit hard as well. So it gives you some sort of stru structural strength, which I'm hoping will fix this. Now this, if I just show you this, this pipe usually goes up and around here at the end, but obviously I had to cut it a little bit short because for some reason they'd cut it at a real diagonal. And I hope that it will now work. Now the reason why I'm making this video is, you know, that was a 
random mistake or a random damage that was caused in shipping, I would say. But while uh, researching this and trying to find a solution to repair it, which unfortunately there wasn't on the internet, it turned out that several people have had minor crashes, they said, into one was a, a big stop on a beach and the other one was uh, into a rock, which you know, I would say was a, a proper crash. But apparently this snapped off. So it's obviously a weak point. So I thought it's worthwhile just to show you how I did it. The problem is, and if I show you, this is the hull. So the hull is at a diagonal like that. The pipe doesn't sit up like this. The pipe's at an angle like that. So of course, when you try to put something sort of by the side of it to um, reinforce it, you can't because it's like that. So I had to cut into the um, into the Lego piece sort of diagonally to reinforce it that way. But it seems to work, which is great. Uh, well, it obviously does work because you've already seen the footage of me f sort of driving the boat, uh, which is fantastic. So I thought it's worthwhile showing you guys. I know some of you out there aren't specifically boat guys, but if you bought this boat on the basis of, of the review, I wanted you to sh sort of see what can happen to it, you know, happened to me, happened to two others, and if you get this damage, it's not impossible to repair, but you have to get this shell off without a shadow of a tail. Okay, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, stay safe, take care, bye-bye.